We want to thank you for your support and trust in our United Way. Services are now in place and we are collectively helping our community because of you. What we're facing right now is the biggest challenge our community has ever seen and it's affecting all of us personally, whether it's the virus itself or the mental and economic impact it's having on our friends, co-workers, business owners, and families. Our United Way has helped our community through hurricanes, downturns in the economy, oil spills, and red tide. We'll continue to be here for all of you through this crisis as well. We wanna share with you what our United Way has done so far and what our plans are for the future. Our immediate response has been to partner with the Southwest Florida Community Foundation for the Emergency Relief Fund. To date, the fund has raised a little over $300,000, and we've already distributed 100,000 in the first three rounds of funding, and that was to meet the immediate needs of our community, including food and supplies for the homebound elderly and vulnerable, and food for families and residents in need. Community Cooperative, Midwest Food Bank, Harry Chapin Food Bank, Meals of Hope, as well as several of our more rural food pantries received some of that funding. Our United Way 211 staff is fielding hundreds of calls a day to point our residents to the resources that are currently available. And our Community Impact staff is conducting weekly surveys of the United Way network of partner agencies to determine operational status and workforce status. Our United Way staff members are participating in emergency management operation calls to help with everything from food coordination to planning. And the United Way Volunteer Center is sharing volunteer opportunities for those people who are looking to help. Reading Pals and Beasley's Pet Therapy Program are keeping volunteers engaged and joining virtual classrooms and group meetings. And the United Way VITA team has been constantly updating clients on alternative ways to file taxes information on stimulus money, and how to avoid being scammed. Through virtual assistance, VITA volunteers have still managed to complete another 250 returns. Our United Way Gifts and Kind program has helped with food rescue from 11 different stadiums, restaurants, box stores, farms, and clubhouses. And they delivered that food to agencies, churches, and migrant camps in need. And with the help of several bell tower restaurants, the Benita Bay Veterans Council, and individual donors, over 500 meals have been delivered to Lee Health, the VA hospital, and other first responders. And our entire United Way team has recruited individuals and businesses that have put in over 500 volunteer hours, making over 11,000 face shields for our healthcare workers, first responders, nursing home workers, law enforcement, and agencies. We Care volunteers have made and distributed 788 homemade face masks and thousands of donate, donated medical face masks. When our area begins to reopen, we're going to be ready. We have plans in place with the school district for a United Way Gifts and Kind store that will allow social workers to pick up much needed items for students whose families may not be able to provide for their children when school resumes in the fall. VITA volunteers are standing by to prepare and file tax returns, and we're working on best practices to make sure that valuable programs like Reading Pals and Beasley's Paw Prints and We Care will continue to make an impact in a very different environment. And we will continue to raise funds to help our families and residents recover and stabilize once they get back to work. It's going to take all of us doing everything we can to rebuild our community. The effects of this pandemic are going to be deep and will be felt for months to come. We're going to need volunteers and donations as we move forward. We're going to need you. We hope we can count on your continued support because together we will lift up our community and we're going to find our new normal. Stay safe, stay well, and live united.